they've been around since before the dinosaur. And despite being that old, we're still fascinated. Mike Brookbank takes us around town. You can do this. You can do this. In fairy tales, princesses kiss them in hopes of finding their prince. But good luck getting a little girl to pucker up for this. Frogs, a chorus of color at the Great Lakes Science Center, makes our list of cool things to do in the city this weekend. The traveling exhibit features some of the 4,000 different frog species, including the African bullfrog. A lot of people think this kind of animal looks particularly like Jabba the Hutt from the Star Wars movies. This one's very dainty, it's crossing its legs. But don't let the politeness of the giant monkey frog fool you. When we come in in the morning, their exhibit is torn up, plants uprooted, mess on the glass, so they have some pretty wild nights. Really? Um, they might be college aged, I'm not sure. My kids know Kermit and Michigan J Frog, you know, I mean, I, you know, who, who hasn't looked at a frog and started going, hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my raccoon gal. Frogs, a chorus of color, runs through January 6th. It's finally that time of year. The colors are starting to emerge across Northeast Ohio. Here's our list of some of the best places to see those golds, reds, and oranges. In Ashtabula County, there are some great drives full of color and covered bridges. Try driving State Route 534 from Geneva to Windsor. If you want to walk through the leaves, check out the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. There are multiple trails full of different trees and waterfalls. Finally, drive State Route 322 from Chagrin Falls to Chardon in Geauga County for scenic farms and rolling hills. If we've missed one of your favorite places, hit us up on our Facebook page and let us know where you like to peep the leaves. Reporting for The List, I'm Mike Brookbank.